Using the Export Layout to Model tab can be a great way to get this finished documentation into a Model Space tab for subsequent translation to DXF or other formats that could be used for programs like Technical Illustration. How do we access this? Well, we simply go to the Layout tab in question and right click. We select Export Layout to Model here, which then prompts us for the name of the drawing that we'd like to produce, which will automatically be the name of your current drawing with a Layout 1 adjuncted behind it because the Layout tab was Layout 1 in this case. We simply tell it to save and wait for the processing to occur. Once the file is created, we'll be asked if we'd like to open it, which we'll do. The geometry will come into a model tab, and you'll notice by way of a quick listing that all these objects are grouped as blocks. A quick explosion of some geometry will convert it back to basic entities, and one of the noticeable improvements in AutoCAD 2013 is that circular objects like this will now be reported as arcs, whereas before there were various splines and polylines and more complex entities. So this means the export layout to model function in AutoCAD 2013 produces tighter geometry that's easier to locate on with tools like object snaps.